I hate flu season. <laughs> has been like a death trap for illness for the past like five months or so. Bo has had the stomach flu like three times and he currently has like some kind of a cold. Zach has had a cold for the past couple days. Porter has recently just gotten over a fever and he's had the stomach flu. Piper's had this, uh, seriously, it just goes on and on. I'm so sick of people getting sick in my house. And we've tried like a lot of different things. And even after all these different things that we've tried, they honestly just haven't been working because my family cannot catch a break when it comes to getting sick this season. And getting sick isn't even the worst part. I haven't gone outside for like three whole days. Do you want to film a snowman? <laughs> and my kids have watched so much TV that now they think that they rule the world. I'm cold. I need gossip. I need more medicine. Where's my water bottle? Something's wrong with the TV. Okay, I think we've had enough TV for today. No! Sometimes I wonder how parents in the olden days would be like before they had TV and iPads and things like that How like what did you do with your kids? When they were sick so that you could still get some stuff done I'm sure that my ancestors are like looking down on me and thinking like she is like, like such a wimp Like just suck it up and turn the TV off Actually, if I had a magic box that my kids sat in front of all day, I would happily let them do it. No worries here You go girl Oh that makes me feel a little bit better. Anyway, I know a lot of you families out there are going through the same thing and we're all just wondering what more can we do to keep these germs out of our house? So I did your research for you. I went online, you know, where everything is true and I found some more things that we can try to keep the germs out of our house. And yeah, you've probably heard some of these before. Number one, teach your kids how to wash their hands. Not just like make them wash their hands, actually take the time to show them how much soap they need, how to get in and out of all the cracks and everything like that. I, I saw Piper washing her hands the other day and she was like doing this thing, like actually washing her hands really good. I never taught her how to wash her hands. And I asked her, who taught you to wash your hands like that? And she's like, I don't know. I promise it was either like one of my sisters-in-law or like one of my sisters taught her how because I did not do that. I need to do that. Number two, we gotta teach our kids how to unshare. They grow up learning to share. Everything's sharing. Preschool is sharing. And then they get to kindergarten, a lot more germs. Everything now is like, oh, don't share that, don't do that. Don't touch that when someone else has touched it. No sharing drinks, no sharing food. It's a hard concept for little kids to get, but that's one of the things that I read that just needs to be done. Unsharing, it's a thing. Look it up. Number three, and yeah, I already did this and obviously it's not working, but I'm gonna do it some more. Clorox wiping, disinfecting all of the traffic zones, so door handles, bathroom knobs, bathroom counters, kitchen counters, stair rails, all the places where little fingers go. I even the other day started like <laughs> wiping down like the lower section of the walls that I know that my one year old is like crawling across, you know, because he's learning how to walk and so he like climbs up on the wall and like shimmies around. Yeah, I started Clorox wiping those areas too because Apparently there's germs everywhere in my house, so yeah. Number four, this is one that I can definitely do better at. Having my kids eat better, healthier foods, more fruits and vegetables, a lot of water, and also just getting enough sleep for your kids. Piper has not been taking naps lately, so I don't know, maybe she's a little tired and her immune system's down. I don't know. But yeah, we gotta be better at eating more fruits and vegetables and just taking care of their bodies because that's what's gonna keep them safe from germs, I guess. So obviously, even when you're doing all these things, people are gonna get sick. Your kids are gonna get sick. You and your spouse are gonna get sick. It's a little bit inevitable no matter what you do. So what I like to do, even when everyone's sick, is kind of enjoy it. I almost like it when people get sick because that means we're, we're good to turn the TV on, we're good to sit down. It makes me actually like hold my baby because I'm always, you know, so busy I forget the, to snuggle him. And so I take the time to snuggle with him more. I sit down with my kids and watch their show. I just like to take the sick days as kind of like days off for me as a mom, which is really, really nice. It allows you to have some mandatory family time as everyone is just like quarantined in your house until all the germs are gone. So even if your laundry is like piling up and getting wrinkled. If your dishes are like a mile high in a sink, 
Just don't worry about it. Just let it happen because guess what? No one is looking through your window and watching the piles get higher and higher. No one even cares. And honestly, they're probably doing the exact same thing inside their quarantined house. So I hope some of these ideas helped you guys out to stick it out through this sixth season. I know none of them are very novel. You've probably heard them all a million times before, but it's always good to have a little reminder. Thanks for watching you guys. Don't forget to give me a comment down below if you have some other suggestions of ways to stay healthy during the sixth season. And we'll see you guys next time. Bye. Okay, that's enough TV.